Our lesson today is about our two saints. Saint Simon, also called Simon the Zealot, and first, Saint Jude, also referred to as Jude Thaddeus. Saint Jude is called, among other things, Judas, the son of James, in the Gospel of Luke, Jude Thaddeus in John, and in all references of him as a saint in modern world, and Thaddeus in multiple places throughout Acts, the Gospels of Mark, John, and then the Epistle of Jude. And he was also referred to in the unusual Judas, not the Iscariot, in all legal documents from the first century forward. Judas Iscariot's actions were so vile that those already named Judas were immediately telling people how to address them differently so that they would never be associated by thought or sound with the one who helped in the murder of the Savior of the world. Their name was said to not have been used for more than eight centuries afterwards. St. Jude Thaddeus likely spoke both Greek and Aramaic and was a farmer by trade, like most of his contemporaries in the area. According to the legend, St. Jude, son of Clopas and Mary of Clopas, sister of the Virgin Mary. Tradition has it that Jude's father, John Clopas, was martyred because of his forthright an outspoken devotion to the risen Christ. Excuse me, James Clopas. I always flip that around. Apostles Jude and Bartholomew are traditionally believed to have been the first to bring Christianity to Armenia and are therefore venerated as the patron saints of the Armenian Apostolic Church. Linked to this tradition is the St. Thaddeus Monastery, now in northern Iran, and St. Bartholomew Monastery, now in southeastern Turkey, which were both constructed in what was then Armenia. According to tradition, St. Jude suffered martyrdom about 65 AD in what was then Beirut, in the Roman province of Syria together with this Apostle Simon the Zealot, with whom he is usually connected. The instrument of a, martyr's mar a saint's martyrdom is usually what they are shown holding or displayed with in all of their paintings. In this case, Jude Thaddeus is pictured with an axe, symbolizing the way in which he was killed. Sometime after his death, St. Jude's body was brought from Beirut to Rome and placed in a crypt in St. Peter's Basilica, which was visit visited by many devotees. Now his bones are in the left transept of St. Peter's Basilica under the main altar of St. Joseph in one tomb with the remains of the apostle of St. Simon the Zealot. They were moved here on 27 December 1665. Saint Simon the Zealot was a member of the group called the Zealots, who fought to incite the Jewish people to fight against the Roman Empire and throw them out of the Holy Land. This movement was to save Jerusalem and Judea from the invaders and occupiers. This was a political movement, but it occurred within and around the synagogue, so it is inextricably linked with the Jewish religion and the Jewish people. Simon was also a faithful follower of Christ. It wasn't a mutually exclusive thing. According to the Golden Legend, which is a collection of hagiographies, Simon the Canaan and Judas Thaddeus were brethren of James the Less and the sons of Mary Cleopas, who, which was married to Elpheus. 
in later tradition. Simon is associated with St. Jude as an evangelizing team. The most widespread tradition is that after evangelizing in Egypt, Simon joined Jude in Persia and Armenia and or Beirut. There, where both of them were martyred in 65 AD. This version is the one found in the Golden Legend. He may have suffered crucifixion as the Bishop of Jerusalem. St. Simon is buried in the same tomb as Jude Thaddeus. Under the left transept is St. Peter's Basilica in Rome, under the altar of St. Joseph. St. Jude Thaddeus is one of the four patron saints of lost or impossible causes, which you will hear me reference periodically. These four saints are Jude Thaddeus, Rita of Kasha, my saint, Philomena, and Gregory of neo Cassiria. St. Simon is the patron saint of couriers, tanners, and sawyers. <laughs>